we are. Um, I did that vlog before and it was just a um, kind of spur of the moment thing with the, the action cam. And uh, it seems that a lot of you are quite interested in uh, seeing all the cool stuff that I have around the house. Um, so I thought I'd, I'd do another one of these. It probably won't be as good as the first one because that was very spontaneous. And spontaneity is always a good thing. But we're relaxing here in the library. It's sub-zero outside, so we're not going out to the shed. In fact, we probably won't even wander into the conservatory because that's a little bit chilly as well. So there's a few things that came up out of the last video. And uh, I thought I'd show you a few things. One of them was the Lee Enfield rifle that's um, up here. Um, the Enfield suite, as we call the conservatory, rather pretentiously and tongue-in-cheek, of course. But uh, like pretty much everything that I have, it is the genuine real deal. And I can tell that somebody's been playing with it because the safety's off. I always leave it with the safety on um, because it's a surefire way of telling when uh, somebody has been messing with your toys. But... Uh, yeah, it's all, all here, all good for a laugh. You used to have to use these, when I was in Cadets, uh, we did rifle drill with these, and uh, oh. the problem is it's been deactivated. When I say a problem, it's not really a problem, but it's been deactivated, and what it means is they've sweated a steel piece into the barrel, and it means you can't actually chamber, well these aren't real bullets, honest. Uh, what these actually are is uh, bullet casing. It has been fired, I don't know whether it'll show up there, you can see the dimple in the middle where the primer has been um, hit with the firing pin. And what they do is they refill it with, um, it's probably a real bullet, but there's no powder and charge in there. If you put that in a real gun and tried to fire it, nothing would happen. But what it means is that if you try and chamber around, it doesn't quite go all the way in. It sort of sticks there and that means that, uh, let's just... Uh, See, that, that's it, it won't go any further. So, uh, let's just... Uh, uh, where's the little funny thing? This is what happens when you start playing about with these things. <coughs> Take the magazine out. Try and get that bolt in. I've been I'm messing about here. Look what you've made me do. <laughs> it's got all the sights and stuff on it. It's quite a nice piece of kit. Now this rifle, um, I'm led to believe by my friendly local neighbourhood gun dealer who sold it to me. Again, another flippant, flippant comment. Uh, all legal, all above board. Uh, but he said that this gun has actually seen. Uh, action in, uh, I think it's got a manufacturer, manufacture date somewhere, well that's the serial number of the gun. I can't see it, he did tell me it's about 1942 vintage, a bit dusty actually, I need to go over it with some pledge and a duster, get a nice shine on it. Um, so it's seen, it's seen um, some degree of action in the Second World War, um, insofar as it was issued to somebody and um, whether or not it was ever shot in anger um, is a moot point. Uh, I don't think there's any real way of finding out. But it's also been to war in uh, Korea and Suez. There's records that it was issued uh, for those uh, particular uh, incidents, uh, those uh, tete a -tete. Um But again, as to whether it's been used extensively, nobody really knows. Um, it's then been in storage for God knows how long. And my friend, who is a genuine gun dealer, they do exist in the UK, um, but, you know, it's perfectly legal, all licensed, all above board. Um, he bought about 50 or 60 of these things, uh, I believe, from the MOD. And, uh, well, I, he gave me the pick of them. So the one I got even has the cleaning kit as well. I'm going to put that down there. I'm not putting it on the table because I'm going to scratch the varnish. So what we actually have in here is that weird Bakelite type plastic. Ugh, a bit dirty. But this is the... Oh, it doesn't want to come out. There we go. This is actually for cleaning the barrel. So 
So we've got various tools for cleaning it, but uh, I'm not entirely sure how it all goes together. All I'm told, whew, there's a lot of muck in there. All I'm told is this is um, this will go down the barrel somehow, probably drop drop the metal weight down, and then you can sort of scrub it backwards and forwards, I guess. And it would take all of the shite out of the barrel from you know where it's been fired, the residue from the powder. But not all of them seem to retain this. So uh, what my uh, friend said was that he'd. Uh, gone through the entire batch and he had uh, picked out, quite nicely for me, one that still had stuff like this with it. The wood was all in great shape. It's clearly been looked after, uh, probably cleaned with a squaddy's toothbrush repeatedly. And uh, one of the things as well, whenever you watch the film Full Metal Jacket, it's like, this is your rifle, you will give it a girl's name. Well, I, I decided that uh, I would give this gun a girl's name. And I called it Leanne, surname Field, Leanne Field. Oh, tumbleweed. Um, so there we go. And uh, it sits quite nicely up there on the wall. Those hooks, just got them in being cute. I'm trying to talk, trying not to distract myself. And I'm trying to stuff this back in here. It's one of those things I don't tend to ever really take. So, so you're very honoured for me to take the gubbins out of this and show you what it all looks like. I think I've only ever had it out once before and I think it was when my friend came round to drop the gun off and he went, hey look at this, look it's even got this. When I was in Cadets these were all removed and they actually glued up that little flap in the butt uh, probably to um, stop children like me from playing around with it but uh, let's put all this back together and you see there's no damage at all to that Normally you find with this sort of Bakelite type plastic, it does go quite brittle with age, but uh, thankfully that's all right. So we've got our magazine here, again, picking one out that um, is reasonably springy. There's a little bit of gun oil on this, it's what stops it from going rusty. Um, and then I've got three dud bullets, They're not real bullets as I explained before. So we sort of load it up like that. I'm not entirely sure how many bullets these things take. Uh, you just keep pushing them down and there's a, a W-shaped uh, spring in there that slowly compresses, which when you're firing and reloading, it pushes the bullets up so that it will just automatically reload the next shot. Now, one of the things that uh, my father always used to take great delight in pointing out when we'd sit and watch Dad's Army on the TV, uh, because in Dad's army, they're using pretty much um, the exact same rifles. He says they've got no magazines in those guns. And it was true. Whenever you see them on Dad's army, they didn't have these in. Which was kind of bizarre, because once you knew, it's um, pretty obvious. But there we go. There's Leanne Field, my uh, lovely uh, Second World War vintage um, Leanne Field rifle. Well, I think that's pretty much all I've got time for. So I hope it's been a little window on my life and um, just address some of the things that people wanted to know a little bit more about last time. So we've got a nice log burning stove here, burning away, plenty of logs to last us the night. It's going to be the coldest night of the year so far tonight, if the BBC is to be believed. But then again, I don't think they've got a window because quite often they'll say, oh, it's a lovely day outside on their format, uh, on their forecast. And... Uh, yeah, we look out the window and it's checking down with rain. But that's all I've got time for, so uh, until next time, I'm going to uh, say, uh, oh, uh, it's not mine. Um, I don't know, I don't, really don't know where she came from. Uh, actually, yes, I do. That's another one of the, I told you, didn't I, in the last one. It's, I've had them on my computers for 20 years and I've forgotten how you get rid of them. Or something like that. Anyway. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well and you'll be the first to know when new videos go up. We've got plenty on there, there's a whole lot of different things. I've got my fingers in, lots of different pies. And of course, if there's any questions uh, that you have about stuff you may have seen in the background in these uh, video blog video type things, that Zoe does this, she's the expert in these. I, I just look at the camera and go, why are you pointing that at my face? But if there's any questions uh, that you have about things you've seen in the background, 
um, you want to know more, then um, ask them in the comments down below and uh, we'll see what we can do. Anyway, you take very good care of yourself. Until next time, bye for now.